Hello again viewers, so back with another video here. Bit of a different one and a bit of a uh, different topic. It's still related to veganism. Um, it's the opposite of fighting. Um, it is gardening and particularly veganic gardening. I'm not sure if many of you vegans out there have heard of veganic gardening, but basically what it is, is it's organic gardening uh, which doesn't use animal products. It is a way of farming crops, of course, no animal exploitation here, which involves stuff like green manures, compost, and basically stuff you find around your garden that comes from plants. And I mean, it's a whole wide topic that I've just recently started diving into. And um, yeah, you know, since, since I got knocked out, got knocked down, you know, I thought I'd try and take my mind off it by looking at a bit of gardening. And the week after uh, my previous fight, I was uh, doing some work in the garden. We've got a decent sized garden. I'm still with my parents, so we're trying to grow our own vegetables, our own produce. And you know, I think this is a missing puzzle for a lot of vegans out there. So in actual fact, I mean, if you're buying vegetables and produce, etc., from supermarkets, then most of the time they're gonna come from either organic farms or regular farms where they use stuff like animal manure, bone meal, um, blood even sometimes, to put in the soil and to grow these vegetables. So you're not really a vegan unless you've got your own veganic farm going. All right, that's a joke, of course you're a vegan. But um, if you wanna be more vegan, you know, you wanna level up your veganness, your veganism, level up your vegan knowledge, level, level up your vegan attitude, you know, look into veganic farming. Yeah, I just wanted to actually shout out this organization called Vegan Organic Network. So this is the website for Vegan Organic Network and they're, they're a charity, a vegan charity, basically trying to spread the word of veganic gardening and like they do stuff like hand out magazines. If you get become a member, you get like magazines like these, which go into a lot of details and a lot of different vegan topics, um, especially to do with gardening and what's just like the vegan lifestyle as well. There was a cool article in a recent magazine about a forest uh, in India, it's a Sadhana forest, and they are basically their own, they're, they're a vegan community in India. They're trying to just live veganically. They're trying to live completely vegan. You know, we're talking about 1000% vegan, like vegan superhero, complete vegan. So no, no buying products from farms that they're not sure how they were grown. They're self-sufficient. I think that they work with permaculture as well. So permaculture is another method of farming which basically you use the land around you and you work with the land. You don't work against the land. Like you don't add anything artificial. You work with the natural uh, compounds, the natural processes, the natural chemistry and science of the land around you to work in your favor and to grow vegetables. And I think this is, this is a pretty overlooked like, thing, topic in our movement as vegans. Because being a vegan, you're against the use of animals against the use and exploitation of animals from any industry. And that would include where your vegetables are coming from. Now, obviously, not everyone has a big garden space. They're not gonna have the means to grow veganically, their own veganic vegetables. But what I would try and encourage vegans to do is to actually support uh, veganic initiatives, veganic farming, educate themselves in it. Like you, there's, there's, you don't need a lot of space to grow your own crops. I mean, you don't have to grow everything for yourself. You can grow like a pot of basil, herbs, spices. You can grow potatoes if you've got a little, little garden patch. And yeah, it's the garden revolution, the green revolution. But yeah, let's go to the website again. So let's go down to the bottom here. So what is veganic? So veganic is a combination of two words, vegan and organic. Veganic, also known as stock-free organic, is a guarantee that food is grown in an organic way with only plant-based fertilizers encouraging functional biodiversity so pesticides aren't needed so our mission is to be a worldwide movement of stock-free organic farmers growers producers consumers and supporters which will raise awareness influence policy and educate people about the principles and benefits of organic agriculture they believe in a peaceful just world where agriculture is earth animal and human friendly see so they're really i mean a really good initiative to support and to try and implement in your own life especially as a vegan as well um Guys, the Garden of Eden, that's what we got to try and create, isn't it? That's what we got to try and bring to this earth. So yeah, that's Veganic. There's a world map of Veganic Gardeners. Um, there's a few in the UK, there's not loads, there's more. There's more uh, up north, there's some in Kent, um, in Oxfordshire too. There's uh, a 
Garden Organic, which is in North London. I wanted to make this video just to sort of bring uh, lights to the topic um, to get other people interested in it. You can check out their website, veganorganic.net. They've got loads of courses of how you can do it yourself with however much land you have. It's just, that's what we would need to create a functional vegan society, really, like vegan gardeners. And I think it kind of reinforces your beliefs more. It reinforces your ideology. It makes you more vegan. I mean, it does. I don't think anyone can be 100% vegan. They can be more vegan than not vegan. Well, I mean, to be honest, the basic of being vegan is that you're against the use of animal exploitation. Yeah, I think it, it just provides a more solid foundation that us vegans can build upon, uh, educate ourselves about, and um, yeah, get growing and try and make a difference. Make a difference in our gardens, make a difference for where we buy our food. Like local is more environmentally friendly as well if you're into that stuff. Like it's no use you being, you saying you're for the environment when you don't buy local. Um, locally is the most environmentally friendly. And if, if you're getting your food from your back garden, if you have the space, obviously, of course, then that's it, you're being very environmentally friendly there. And now I'm not, I'm no angel. I'm not perfect. I'm not environmentally perfect by any means. But what I'm doing is taking strides, you know? Educating myself on other things which is in this vegan space. You can't get distracted from all these things around us. You know, all these other topics, all these little discussions that are sort of pulling our attention. We only have such limited t attention. And if you really care about animals, you really care about animals not being used or exploited for any means, then guys, don't get distracted, you know? Be disciplined with learning new things that can increase your vegan knowledge and um, yeah, can level, up, level you up as a vegan. Um, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I'll leave the links to some resources in the description if you want to check it out yourselves. And um, I'll end with a quote, actually, one of my favourite quotes, which relates to myself, and it goes like this. And, you know, this is for the other fighters out there as well. You probably heard this quote if you're like me. It is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in war. It's a call for you to be fit. It's a call for you to be ready for danger. But it's also a call to remember who we are, remember where we come from, we come from the earth. We need the earth to sustain ourselves. And it's a call to be humble, but also fierce in spirit so yeah guys i'll leave you with that and thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in a bit